Okay, so I decided to do my December budget this way. As you see, we have a lot going on. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, with the new temporary job, this is my pay after taxes. And this miscellaneous income is income that I have coming. Don't really want to disclose where that's coming from, but it's legit and everything <laughs> so yeah we have a total of fourteen thousand seven hundred and seventy dollars for December um whew. that's the highest amount of income that I've had <laughs> ever in a month um whew. I pray it continues to happen this way and just increase and increase because that's what we about getting this money but anyway y'all know I can ramble okay so first up I am getting back into the word back into church watching church online and I am going to be giving to a church I haven't necessarily joined a church um, but I am going to be giving my tithes to a church um, I need to pick one and I was thinking about going to church tomorrow with my um stepmom so okay so i call my dad's first wife my stepmom and his second wife my dad's wife so when i say my stepmom it's his first wife but um she's been inviting me to come to church the last couple sundays and i don't know it's just something about going inside of the church just has me like uneasy i mean she's told me like things that's going on in the church which is a form of church hurt and i just really don't want to do that if i can praise god online and get served and get filled spiritually that way that's kind of where i'm at but anyway i am going to be paying my tides um my emergency fund so i broke this down i am going to put um What am I putting? <laughs> uh, how do I have that set up? Okay. Um, I automatically have 400 every pay going into my emergency fund. And I'm going to be adding... Let me do that math real quick. So... Okay, so I'm going to be adding 1000 seven hundred and seventy dollars to this and then automatically four hundred is going in so when i first got the temp job i automatically put four hundred to go into the emergency fund however i've been paying off debt with the four hundred that's been going into the emergency fund so now i feel like the four hundred that's going in there will be good and i won't have to mess with it to pay off debt um car maintenance i'm going to put a thousand dollars in there and just have it capped at at a thousand dollars um tires whatever emergency happens with my car i will be okay and i won't have to contribute to that um crystal this is going to be my sinking fund i'm just going to put 300 in there for the month of december and then just add on to it medical i am going to put 500 in there um throughout the month and continue to add on to it because you guys know I am having surgery um, we haven't figured out a surgery date but that is coming up so I mean to pick a surgery date is coming up it probably will be the end of January early February so I'm just gonna have this $500 here for like medicine I don't know galls anything that I need um, and 10% of my saving of my income is going to go to my savings so that's that amount as well and then this is what I had left over for sinking funds. Um, you guys know I have lots of binders now, maybe about five. Prayerfully, I'm not too overwhelmed. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I'm just gonna split it up like that. And if somebody, somebody, if an envelope gets five dollars, that's just what it is. But that's just what I am contributing to. And now we move on to my housing bit. 
so rent this is actually going to be for three months of rent so december is already paid for um so this is going to be january february and march and then my rent won't be due again until april um i want to pay it up like this just in case if anything happens with like you know god forbid but with like my job or anything like that like i said i am currently working a temporary position so it is not permanent and i am interviewing for a permanent job so i've interviewed um with a couple companies so far i have another final interview on tuesday i have another interview on tuesday so i have two interviews this tuesday coming and yeah so the permanent job is going to come um i'm just gonna put 80 dollars for electricity this is how much my internet and cell phone is this is life insurance for me and my dad i am going to pay three months ahead and the same for car insurance my car insurance is due to start over on um january so i'm going to pay the car insurance up for six months we ain't gotta worry about it save me a lot more money you know um as the new year comes so you guys i want to be as strategic as i can and work smarter and not harder with my money like for real so that's why i did that and then for the month of december this is just cash envelopes gas i probably don't even need a hundred dollars I work from home groceries um it's going to be 240 for the month i'm still getting a little bit of food stamps because they know about my job um so i'm <laughs> y'all they took they took me down to 23 dollars a month which i'm grateful for but also the pandemic stamps come out as well and i get 95 dollars for that so i'll have that as well um household is just going to get 80 20 dollars every week so this also is a magic month for me um i missed well i didn't work at all this week so i won't be paid this week that's why i'm only getting four paychecks instead of five rj's getting his normal 20 and here it is my birthday month my birthday is december 18th um I don't have I never have any plans but like now I really don't have any plans um I just said I would give myself five hundred dollars in case I want to buy myself something nice or treat myself to an expensive dinner or something um like I said I don't have any plans but I will say I know that I don't want to be alone um this year on my birthday so hopefully you know my dad and my best friend that's here um you know maybe we can go to dinner and do something i don't know and then christmas so i'll probably buy myself something but this will be for birthday and christmas um or you guys i may not even have to use this money because my dad spoils me and when i go out with my best friend on my birthday she spoils me too um okay so while i was out of work in september i used my credit cards a lot and i've been paying them off or been paying on it to pay them off every pay um but one of them has like a thousand dollar limit i have another one that's at like eighty dollars another one that's at like two hundred and some two of them at two hundred and something but nonetheless i am going to go ahead and get as many paid off as i can um i'm just trying to think let me know guys if there's any wiggle room i mean i'm sure there is like i don't know maybe um not stuff sinking funds but uh i don't know but i do want to get that debt paid off as soon as possible so maybe I won't put anything in my sinking funds for the month of December and just kind of start fresh January and use this money to continue to continue to pay off this the credit card debt we'll see how it works out and oh that is it so let me know guys how did I do um 
Yeah, so this money I probably will be getting within the next week or so, preferably next week. I'm not sure. Um, and I'm just going to put the thousand um, 770 in the emergency fund and I will, uh, what will I do? Put the thousand 770 in the emergency fund and, um, I probably will definitely pay the rent and then whatever is left over whatever I can do um, you know pay that towards the debt or anything like that but yeah you guys so this is it for December um, yeah Whew. I, I'm just I'm a little overwhelmed um, just in general, you guys know, um, about my mom passing, but seeing this number is extremely overwhelming for me right now. Um, tch, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm grateful, you know, this is something that I am looking forward to continuing to see as I get better jobs, right? You know, um, yeah. All right, I'm rambling, y'all, because like I said, y'all know I can go one and one and one. But um, I think this is a good start, definitely, um, for the new year. And yeah. All right, guys, let me know what you think. If you had this, what changes would you make? Because I am, you know, open to um, making changes. I mean, like, I don't have to necessarily pay this up front, but I think it will be helpful. The same with the life insurance. Um, yeah. So, let me know. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys soon be blessed and have an amazing day bye y'all